In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up these words of the week and taking Quizlet activities and moving them to different platforms. And the reason I like to use Quizlet is because it does save me time when I need to convert them to other platforms. And I'm going to show you how and why um, Quizlet can kind of help with that. So right here, I've got Quizlet and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new study set. And for this activity, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call it um, weeks four and five for word of the week. Or word of the day. And then I'm going to say weeks four and five. And then down here, I'm going to enter these terms um, that this teacher would like to use for the word of the week or word of the day. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste all of these. I'm going to move this out to the side and paste them in here. So again, I want to create a Quizlet first because then it makes it really easy um, for me to take these to other places. And then what I like too about Quizlet is it pulls the definition as well. And you'd usually have to pick that English um, or the language first. I'm going to do the next word. <clears throat> and again, I just I love Quizlet because it pulls that definition piece over where all the other ones do not. And I'm able to also edit those definitions if I need to. Okay, so now that I have my words, I'm going to hit this create button down at the bottom. <clears throat> and now I like to take this link and I just like to add it to a spreadsheet just to keep everything kind of organized. Um, so I know exactly what I need to do and I can share this easily with other teachers um, because we do collaborate pretty well in our district. So right there, I've got the Quizlet. Now I'm going to exit out. So now that I have my words, I am then going to go here <clears throat> to these three dots and click export. And I'm going to copy this text down here. And the easiest thing to go ahead and transfer to is GimKit. So I'm going to go ahead and type GimKit in. And then again, I log in. And then once I'm logged in, I'm going to create a new kit. And I'm going to call it again, word of the week, four and five. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick just an image, create with flashcards, import these flashcards, and I'm just going to paste them right in. And there they go. They will quickly make uh, different sets for me to use with um, my students. So again, I'm able to kind of go in quickly, pick whatever I want. And then I can hit all done. And there's my word of the week, three dots I open, and I am able to copy now this link to my spreadsheet and I just put it under GimKit. <clears throat> and there are some cool features in here where I could play live, I could assign for homework, 
I could also use this practice, which is kind of replacing the Quizlet because we're not able to use Quizlet right now. Um, so right here, I could do word of the week. And then my students are able to use this and they can practice just kind of like they could with the Quizlet Learn. So that is kind of nice. Again, that one takes pretty much 90 seconds. <clears throat> So next we're going to go to Look It. Look It is another really, really easy one that you're able to convert to. So right here I can hit copy text and I'm able to go in to Look It. And again, I'm gonna sign in. I'm going to hit create. Now that I've hit create, I rename it just like I would with the other ones. And I hit Quizlet import and I'm gonna hit create. And then I just hit next step, next step. We've already have it copied and I just paste it, add those questions right in, take a look. And I can see that I have all of my Quizlets um, imported into Booklet. So again, that one is a really easy as well. I hit save, I find that word of the week. I go here to link and I paste it on my spreadsheet. Pear Deck is the next easy one. So if I go here, I can type in Pear Deck. Actually, I'm going to go over to this one. And then now that I'm in Pear Deck, I'm going to go ahead and log in. And I'm going to go to Flashcard Factory. Once I'm in Flashcard Factory, I'm going to go back to my Quizlet and I'm going to copy this again because I had those linked copied. And then I'm going to go here to import and I'm going to paste it, import list. And you are able to make any changes if you need to, um, but this looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename it. The biggest thing is renaming it to make sure that I have everything that I need. And then what I like to do is I like to open this in Google Drive and I like to share it that way. I've had some issues when I share click the share link. Um, it doesn't always want to share after I publish it. So then my teachers have issues um, finding it. So I just share this in my Google Drive and I just go to the three dots, share, and Pear Deck will make a folder with you. So what I did is I just opened that folder um, to anybody in Pickerington. And then now when I just copy and paste it in here, I am able to use Pear Deck Book Factory. Okay, and now the next ones um, require a spreadsheet. So they do take a little bit longer, but they're not too bad. So I like to go ahead and I like to use the one that I had from before. And then I'm going to go ahead and file, make a copy. <coughs> I'm going to rename it. All right, now that I have my copy, I'm gonna go back to my words of my week. And I'm gonna, again, go to those three dots and I'm gonna export this, copy the text, go back to my spreadsheet and I'm just gonna paste them right here. And sometimes it will do that. So what you have to do is you have to right click and you need to do paste special values only. Now I'm gonna take this column and that is gonna be my questions. And then right here, all I do is I take my words, put them here, and then I usually go from the second one down, put it up here, put this one here, um, and then add from the top the ones that I'm missing. Oop, undo. Go to my next column, get tone. That one's going to go up top for question three. Add tone or point of view down to the bottom. And then again, I'm gonna go up here, paste, and then I'm gonna add mood down here. So then I have multiple different um, answers for that version. Um, so again, that's what I do, but you can mix them up however you want. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do one, 180 I'm good with. And then after that, I go ahead and I file, and I download this to an um, Excel sheet. And then I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to put this link on my spreadsheet. 
just because if somebody needs to edit it, it makes it easier for them to be able to edit. And so now I'm going to go over to quizzes. I'm going to again sign in if I'm not already signed in. Create. Again, I'm going to name it. Great. Now that it's named, I'm going to click the subject. Next. And now I am ready to import from my Google Sheet. But it's actually an Excel sheet, so make sure you do download that Excel sheet. I can double check everything one more time. And then once I'm good, I hit import. And you can see that everything is, has the first answer. So now when I go into saving it, I'm going to go ahead and um, just save this. I can then go ahead and share this. So I want this share link just in case teachers want to assign it. Um, they're able to. So I put that right there. And then I do um, go in and I go ahead and assign as homework. And I'm going to do no deadline. <clears throat> and you might have a deadline depending on your quizzes account. So scrolling down right here where it says shuffle uh, answer options and shuffle questions is what I want to turn on. So make sure those should be auto on, but sometimes they're not. So just double check. And then I hit assign, copy that link, and then you can send that off to your students. Okay, so there we go with um, those words. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and actually copy this again and put this in this column so all the words are there. Then I'll reformat it. There we go. Okay, and then again, I like to change the font. All right, so now... Um, we've got Kahoot next, okay? Um, I'm not going to do deck toys. That is a Tracy Roush thing, and I don't have a premium account, so I'm going to skip that one. But I'm going to go ahead and do Kahoot. So with Kahoot, again, I take this spreadsheet, and you do have to use a different spreadsheet than you did for quizzes. And you're going to make a copy. You rename it. And now that I have this renamed, I'm just going to go in and copy and paste my quizzes sheet. And then I'm just going to take these options. And again, you can mix them up if you want to. And everything looks pretty good. So now I'm going to go into file, download as an Excel sheet again. I'm going to hit share, copy this link, add it to my word of the week. And now I go over to Kahoot, log in. And then once I'm logged in, I'm going to hit create <clears throat> a Kahoot. <clears throat> and then right here is where it kind of looks um, weird and it's hidden. So once you hit add new question, you can import a spreadsheet. So again, you have to hit add new question, import that spreadsheet. You're going to grab it and drop it. And then right here it's uploaded. So I'm going to hit upload. And so now I have to look at question number three. It says that um, it's too long. So I need to shorten number three. So I'm going to go here and look at number three. And I'm just going to do it right to there. We'll see if that fixes it. An Excel sheet. Drop it in again. Upload. And that means we're good. Add those questions in. And all my questions get added, but you do have to go up to question one and you do need to um, delete that question. I don't know why it makes you have question one, but you do have to go in and delete it and then all of your questions are there now i'm able to hit save and i can title it again you can add a description if you wanted to and then now i am going to share this with others copy that link and then add it to my spreadsheet um, so again i have everything kind of in one place for these words of the week and I am then able to share them with other teachers so that they can use, and I'm also able to reuse them next year. So I can go quickly and say, okay, what words did I have? Oh, I didn't like that I used this word, so I need to change that. 
or whatever I need to do. But again, having it all in one spreadsheet makes it super easy to use. Um, and then I'm able to also copy and paste those over. And it only takes a few minutes to move them to different platforms. Um, so this way it gives students multiple different opportunities to practice in different ways. But you can kind of decide if you want to keep to one. So maybe you just want to convert them all to GIMKit or if you want to do multiple like we are. Um, so I hope this helps when it comes to converting your Quizlet activities to other websites.